Hello friends, welcome back to Creative Chaos Kenya. Today is a special video dedicated to my housekeeper, Anita. So I'll try to show you the daily routine of every housekeeper in Kenya. She is very hardworking, caring and friendly. She treats my family as her own family and takes care of each and every person of hope and all the works are done. Usually in every home, the households come from around 8 to 9 a.m. in the morning. Immediately they come, they ensure the kitchen, leftovers and the utensils are arranged in the fridge and they're taken out for washing. That's what she's doing right now here. Toffee follows her everywhere due throughout the day during her work. We'll make he is also do. very attached to her. He doesn't like her going in the evening after the work is done. <laughs> all the used utensils and plates to the washing area where she will wash in a while she prepares food for toffee immediately she comes in the morning that's because if his stomach is full he doesn't disturb anyone he just goes off to sleep throughout the day and that's a little trick we follow for Toffee so that he doesn't disturb us during the day. While the chicken is being boiled for Toffee, she gets on to work on the utensils. Once the utensils and the plates are washed, she also dries it with a dry cloth before she can arrange it in the cupboards. Once the utensils are dried up, she gets on to the clothes. She washes the clothes, the dirty clothes, as Toffee supervises her work. Meanwhile, the breakfast is being prepared in the kitchen. This little boy finds every work very interesting, so he keeps a keen eye on everything being worked out by everyone at the home. She also does blue for all the white clothes every day. are now being taken down to be dried because the sunlight in the balcony is very less but when the clothes are being taken down to draw to be dried on the ropes they dry up faster so that she can finish up her daily clothes ironing and start afresh for the next day this tiny boy is trying to convince her that he also can be taken down to play He's tried everything but it doesn't work. He doesn't know that it doesn't work. But then there's no harm in trying. That's what he feels. You come. That 
that's the drying area downstairs where she dries the clothes every day and collects it after midday for them to be ironed again. taken down and put for drying she comes back and then brings the utensils which were washed already in the morning to be inserted into the cupboards this boy still remembers that there was the chicken boiled for him and he still didn't get that so now he's asking her to give him the chicken And now there he goes. He got his chicken and he's one happy pup. Now he looks at us saying, this is hot. How do you want me to eat that now? <laughs> she then ensures that the water is filled for drinking in all the containers. for watering the plants and also for mopping and cleaning the rooms and the house properly. tidies the living room, she cleans the couches, cleans the carpets and brushes them and then does the mopping of all the rooms likewise. <music> is neat and clean always to the point then there is toffee's playtime want this you want it helps in cutting the vegetables and helping in the kitchen at times this is more meat being cut for toffees lunch and dinner time we have reached lunch time and now she is cooking food for herself that's cabbage and ugali which she will prepare today in the afternoon
watching. You're watching. Oh, your nose will get cut. This is water she put for boiling for ugali. Ugali is a maize flour meal. She's adding jeera and salt to the water just because I said I wanted to taste it today. I wanted to eat a little of it. That's the reason she had to add jeera and salt. But usually they do not add salt to it, salt and jeera to it. It's just water boiled and then maize flour mixed into it and had. It's a very healthy dish and very filling indeed. What is it? What is it? You want to go down? You want to go down? Her food is now ready. After lunch, she washes those lunch dishes and then starts her ironing. Meanwhile, she gets her clothes, the dried clothes from downstairs and does the ironing up. And then the time for putting those lunchtime wash dishes back into the cupboards. Before she leaves, she also fills the water so that we don't have any issue with the, with the drinking water until the next day that she comes back. She arranges all the towels, the dried clothes are separated and put in individual rooms for each of us to be arranged in the cupboards later on. This boy is sadly sitting here because he knows the time for her to go for the day is arrived and he doesn't like it.
before she leaves she makes sure toffee has everything that he needs over the night the water required for him and also the food is boiled and kept so that i don't have a problem in the night for his dinner isn't she really hard working she's really hard working caring she hats off to these women who do the works outside and also cater for their own home needs they have to go back home and also do their works at home also take care of their children and their families hats off to such women even when i go out of home she takes care of toffee so very well <laughs> Okay, just leave. Let's see what he wants to do. Hi. He fears even coming down. Come. <laughs> okay, come inside. She's gone. Come, 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 come. You won't come. Come inside now. Come inside. Yeah, she will come tomorrow. You come. Get inside, not outside. Thank you, Anita, for being there for my family always. If you watch the video, do share in your views in the comment section below, and let me know if you want to watch more of such videos.